and welcome to the channel. I'm Jill. If this is your first time here, I do home decor, fashion, and lifestyle. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then stick around. If you are part of that JS family, you know, my JS family, hugs and blessings to you. Hugs and blessings. You guys know I'm so crazy about you. So, you guys, today's video is a request from a subscriber who wanted to talk about strapless bras. So, um, normally I get my, well, 99.8% of the time I get my bras from uh, Lane Bryant. However, this person, even though they're chesty, they're a smaller person, so Lane Bryant ain't gonna work for them too well. So I chose to do, uh, I got three bras uh, that I'm going to share with you guys and uh, for the smaller person and we're going to see how they work out. So there are uh, a couple of tips I want to give which some people already know. First of all when I uh, when I wash my bras I always put them in you know like they have um, I got these little mesh bags and you put them in there so they don't get all beat up. Another thing is I never ever 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 let me say it again. I never, ever, 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 ever put my bras in the dryer because it messes up the form, the stretch and everything. So I just hang them up and let them dry. So that's the tip I wanted to share with you guys. Another tip I wanted to share when you're kind of chesty, um, always try to look for the bras with the wider bands. Uh, for one, it'll help get those back rolls in there. And then it gets a lot of us women which I'm not one, but I have some family members. We have breasts that come all the way over here. So it would get all that and bring it around. Uh, what should have been my very first tip was, when you are a chesty woman, and uh, I just had this conversation with uh, someone, uh, when you are a chesty woman, you cannot buy uh, the $10 bras. You cannot buy the $7 bras. Sis, you need to invest in a good bra if you have to buy uh one every month or whatever get you two or three good bras uh get a good strapless and then get a good um you know the one with the straps because in the long end it's going to make your your look look a whole lot better uh the one i'm wearing I really think I got it from Lane Bryant. As I said, I am a Lane Bryant girl. And uh, this, the brand is, or the name on it is, I'll put it right here because I can't remember. But uh, I like how it holds me, it lifts me. And I like how um, you don't really see, not unless I get out, you know, get close and bring it in like that. You don't really see uh, the cups. So I like that as well. So we're going to get into these bras. Okay, you guys. So the first bra that I'm going to share with you guys is this one. Uh, as you can see, it's got stuff. It's light. And it has like a little design on it. This is... Okay, you guys, wait. This is the Paramore. And it's from Felina.com. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I was reading what it was saying. Um, it comes with the shoulder straps in case you want to wear the straps. I always like to uh, get the two-in-one kind of bra. <laughs> if I'm going to do strapless, I want it to have um, straps in case, you know, I want to wear it as a regular bra. What I like to do when I'm buying my bras is, especially the strapless ones, I like this to be kind of wide. Um, I just feel like you get better, you know, better, excuse me for hoisting, <laughs> better coverage. Now, this has the non-slip uh, rubber or whatever that stuff is that they put on their silicone at the top, but not at the bottom. All these bras are a size 40D because that's what size I wear. However, 
let me share this with you guys. It's really best uh, when buying your bras to go in store because simply because I wear a 40D in this one I'm wearing now does not mean that a 40D is going to work in these three. Uh, because a lot of times the sizing is off. You may be, you may, you might have to go larger or you may have to go smaller. But in these, because I ordered them, I got them all in a 40D. So what I'm going to do, you guys, uh, I'm not going to be walking around in just my bra. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you what this looks like compared to the one that I have on. Now, the one I have on is... Uh, I'm going to put the name right here. Uh, and I, if I remember correctly, this I think you may be able to get these at JCPenney's and Macy's, I believe. I'll double check. Uh, so this is the one that I have on. I'm going to move the camera back a little bit better so you can see uh, if it's going to hoist me or if I'm just going to be where I'm already at. So one second. This is the Felina. So, I like that it fits. Uh, all this is covered up. Um, it's very comfortable. And just so you guys know that I am wearing it. This, here it is. Um, I just, like I said, it's comfortable. It's, I like how it's got all that, you know, in the sides, in there. But I don't feel like, this is one of those, I'm just trying to be comfortable, you know, for me. Uh, because I don't feel like it's lifted me any. Like, I'm not up here like that. Like I would like to be. I would like for it to look like that. But, again, it's not, it's not bad. And as I said, it's very comfortable. Very, I can't take anything away from the comfort because the comfort is there. I like Lean Bryant because they get all this and push all that and lift. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I normally wear. But because the person who asked for this uh, strapless bra video is a smaller person, smaller, you know, not here, but here, is the reason why I try to do not do Lean Bryant because everybody can't wear Lean Bryant. So anyway, that's this bra. Show you the side. Show you the back. And come on back around. See, I need that to be like this. But it's kind of hard to get that when you're kind of chesty in a strapless bra. But I don't think it's too bad. I'm going to tell you what it fits like. It fits like a t-shirt bra. That's what it fits like. That's what it feels like. And to me, that's what it looks like, a t-shirt bra. So anyway, so let's go on to the next one. Okay, you guys. So this one, our next one is the Liliette. It's by Bally. Okay. And once again, it's a 40D. If you can see that. It's a 40D. And as I said, I like to keep... My band as wide as I can get it. The little, the little skinny bands don't work well to me if you're chesty. Uh, and once again, it has the silicone to keep you from sliding. <clears throat> at the top, not at the bottom. This one has underwire. Did the other one? The other one had, it wasn't really like a underwire. It was, let me pull it back out. It's like a, like a, can you see that? And so it's not a wire. It's like a flat uh, band of some kind. It's a sturdy band, but yeah, it's not a wire. This one, this one is going to be, no, this is the same stuff. It's not a wire. It's not a wire, which I kind of like because I hate when the wires start coming out of your bra. I just drives me crazy. But once again, it comes with the um, the straps in case you want to wear it with straps or without. And 
No, this isn't one where you can crisscross it. So let's try this one. Okay, guys. So this is how this one looks on. Now, I like it and I don't. What I don't like is see how you can see the impression? I don't like that. So I would either have to wear this with something else where that didn't show or I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Uh, what I do like is like it has boning here, which the boning helps lift you. Um, it is, it's just not smooth enough. You know how the other one was almost like a t-shirt bra, so you didn't see all that, that line. So that's what I don't like. This is what I look to the side. Now, because of the boning, I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like I've got a little better lift. The other thing I don't like is, uh, I think the other one had a little bit, it was a little bit more wide under here. Let's see. <clears throat> what? Oh, here it is. Actually, it wasn't. I don't know. It's just fitting. It's just fitting kind of different. But um, it helps me with my waistline. So, like I said, I just probably would. Well, I know I wouldn't wear it with this top simply because I don't like you being able to see the uh, line. But other than that, it's comfortable. Um, yeah. So, and to let you know I have it on, this is it. Okay. So what do you guys think? <clears throat> what do you think about this one? And let me say this, those little Minute Maid things is Honey, we get ready to start exercising. But anyway, <laughs> I digress. So that's that one. Let's go on to number three. Again, this was the Liliet. Liliet by Valley. And I will list them in the description box down below. On to the next one. Okay, you guys, this is our next one. The straps are already on it. Once again, it has the wide band like I like. It helps hide those uh, back rolls. That's why I like those. Um, now this doesn't have wire at all. It does have the silicone um, to keep you from sliding and slipping. Now see, the others didn't have that right there. That's a good place to have it because that's normally where you're pulling. So that's great. This is a maiden form bra. Let's see. Maiden form wireless comfort grip technology. And it has a little size guide for you. Now this one may be really comfortable, y'all. So it says, <clears throat> now with this one, unlike the other two, there are six ways to wear it. So it gives you this little diagram of the different ways you can wear it. You can wear it as a halter, one shoulder, crisscross, and regular. I like that. So let's see. Let's see how this one holds up. See you in a minute. Okay. So this is the made in form. You guys, this bra feels fabulous. It has all my, well, you can't see, but all my little back rolls are inside. Um, it feels fabulous, but once again, oh, it feels really good. However, now if I wore this one, of course, because the color is uh, nude, I would wear this with something where, uh, with a darker color. Now, um, okay, let's see. That is a little better. However, I'm still not getting it that, <clears throat> that I like, you know? 
but as I said, it is very comfortable, probably because it doesn't have that, uh, I don't know what that is inside those bras, but it's not wired, some kind of flat, it almost feels like cardboard, but not cardboard, I don't know what that is, but this one doesn't have that, um, at all, well, it doesn't look bad, it doesn't look bad at all, what do you guys think? So, yeah. Again, this is the maiden form one. Maiden form. And, um, let's see. It's called Just Comfort Grip. Designed to keep the bra in place. Love that feature. Love, love, love. Because, honey, let's see. You don't have a whole lot of bounce. You got a little bit. But that's, you know, that's, that's kind of all right. So, yeah. I want you guys to leave your uh, thoughts and your comments. Let me know about which one you thought uh, looked best or gave me a better shape, lift, whatever. Put your thoughts down below. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. And uh, you know what I like to say? I love you from your toes to your soul. And until next time, stay safe and blessed. Bye, guys.